Today on Nostalgia Hit, we look back at the cast of the 1991 romantic comedy film, Career Opportunities. We'll revisit the actors and update them as of 2023. Please remember to subscribe to the channel for your daily dose of nostalgia. Frank Whaley played Jim Dodge. In 1991, Whaley was 27 years old. He was born on July 20, 1963, and is now 59 years of age. Whaley has made over 120 film and television appearances, some of which include The Doors, Pulp Fiction, and Swimming with Sharks. He is also a screenwriter and director, and in 1999, he won the Waldo Salt Screenwriting Prize for his directorial debut film, Joe the King. Dermot Mulroney played Nestor Pyle. In 1991, Mulroney was 27 years old. He was born on October 31, 1963 and is now 59 years of age. Mulroney has made almost 150 appearances in television and film roles. Some of the best known include Young Guns, My Best Friend's Wedding, and the TV comedy drama Shameless, where he played Sean Pierce in 23 episodes. He is also a classically trained cellist and has played on scores for numerous films such as Mission Impossible, Ghost Protocol, and Star Trek Into Darkness. Kieran Mulroney played Gil Kinney. In 1991, Mulroney was 25 years old. He was born on September 24, 1965, and is now 57 years of age. Mulroney, the younger brother of Dermot, has made appearances in 40 film and TV roles, some of which include Gettysburg, The Immortals, and Dead Man's Walk. He is also a screenwriter, with credits to his name, such as Paper Man and Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. John M. Jackson played Bud Dodge. In 1991, Jackson was 40 years old. He was born on June 1, 1950, and is now 72 years of age. Jackson has over 90 acting credits in film and multiple television roles, some of which include Local Hero, The Hitcher, and the action drama Jag, where he played A.J. Chegwidden in 188 episodes between 2017 and 2018. He reprised this role in six episodes of NCIS Los Angeles. Jenny O'Hara played Dottie Dodge. In 1991, O'Hara was 49 years old. She was born on February 24, 1942, and is now 81 years of age. O'Hara has appeared in over 170 television and film roles, some of which include Mystic River, The King of Queens, and as Dot in 17 episodes of the comedy TV series The Mindy Project. Her career began on stage, and she has appeared on Broadway in a variety of plays and musicals. Noble Willingham played Roger Roy McClellan. In 1991, Willingham was 59 years old. He was born on August 31, 1931. He died from a heart attack on January 17, 2004. He was 72 years of age. Willingham made appearances in over 130 film and TV roles. Some of the best known include Paper Moon, City Slickers, and Walker, Texas Ranger, where he played the role of C.D. Parker in 155 episodes of the action-adventure TV series between 1993 and 1999. Barry Corbin played Officer Don. In 1991, Corbin was 50 years old. He was born on October 16, 1940 and is now 82 years of age. Corbin, whose career began as a Shakespearean actor in the 1960s, has made appearances in almost 230 film and television roles. Some of the most notable include Dallas, One Tree Hill, and The Ranch. He starred as Morris Minifield in 110 episodes of the comedy drama TV series Northern Exposure and was nominated for two Primetime Emmy Awards in 1993 and 1994. Wilbur Fitzgerald played Bob Bosenbeck. In 1991, Fitzgerald was 42 years old. He was born on September 15, 1948, and is now 74 years of age. Fitzgerald has made over 100 appearances in film and television roles, some of which include In the Heat of the Night, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, and the action drama TV series Prison Break, where he played Bruce Bennett in eight episodes. Denise Gallick played Lorraine. In 1991, Gallic was 40 years old. She was born on December 4, 1950, and is now 72 years of age. 
Kalik has 46 acting credits and is known mainly for appearances in television series and soap operas, some of which include 13 episodes of General Hospital and 40 episodes of Port Charles, where she played Rhonda Wexler in both shows. Her last known role was in 2013 in the TV series Switched at Birth. William Forsyth played a custodian. In 1991, Forsyth was 35 years old. He was born on June 7, 1955, and is now 67 years of age. Forsyth has made appearances in over 150 film and television roles. Some of the most notable include Once Upon a Time in America, Raising Arizona, and as J. Edgar Hoover in seven episodes of the drama TV series, The Man in the High Castle. John Candy played C.D. Marsh. In 1991, Candy was 40 years old. He was born on October 31, 1950. He died from a heart attack on March 4, 1994. He was 43 years of age. Candy featured in seven John Hughes movies, including two uncredited roles. These were as the target store manager in Career Opportunities and as Chet in the 1988 comedy romance. She's having a baby. Over his career, Candy made appearances in over 60 film and TV roles. Some of his best known include Space Balls, Planes, Trains and Automobiles, and Cool Runnings. Dan Albright played Dave Hoffner. In 1991, Albright's age was unavailable. He died on December 4, 2020. The cause of death was undisclosed. Albright has 33 acting credits from minor appearances in film and TV roles, some of which include I Know What You Did Last Summer, Forces of Nature, and Remember the Titans. His last film role was in the 2007 romantic drama Daddy's Little Girls. Jennifer Connelly played Josie McClellan. In 1991, Connelly was 20 years old. She was born on December 12, 1970, and is now 52 years of age. Connolly has 55 acting credits from film and television appearances. Some of the most notable include Requiem for a Dream, Top Gun Maverick, and the TV sci-fi drama series Snowpiercer where she played Melanie Cavill in 20 episodes. In 2002, she won an Academy Award, a Golden Globe, and a BAFTA for her performance as Alicia Nash in the biographical drama A Beautiful Mind. Jennifer Connelly, who is set to return in season 4 of the sci-fi drama Snowpiercer, has starred in numerous TV shows and films including Requiem for a Dream, A Beautiful Mind, and Top Gun Maverick. But, what is your favorite Jennifer Connelly film or TV role? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Nostalgia Hit. Please remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, as it really helps the channel. Why not watch another video listed on the screen now? Until next time.